This mod raises a lot of questions. Start in a tram ride honoring the original game. By the way, I'm Walden and you're watching Half Life Fanboy. Today we're looking at Black Mesa concealed information. This is my first commentary video, so I'll try to keep it minimal to preserve that gameplay experience. So as you can see, we're in Black Mesa, and we're just a regular scientist guy. We are Edward Heinrich, age 28, similar to Gordon, I guess. We're introduced to Black Mesa and its eeriness. All the maintenance workers are trying to fix the multiple issues that this facility has. a really cool part over here so the story behind this mod is uh, we're actually leading a team of researchers on some top secret uh, project As you can see, we are an astrophysicist working at Black Mesa, and we are on our way right now to brief our research team. finally here there's nothing fancy really um, over here no Barney greeting us no promises of beer uh, just on our way basically fantastic I can't see how this could possibly get worse It's actually pretty cool that we can actually get this guy out right now. Good God! I wish I could be of more help in a firefight, but I'm a pacifist. Not sure where you're getting those firefight ideas from, man. Don't get ahead of yourself. Man, I miss those prices. Really wish things cost that much these days. Hello, chum. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I want anything here.
It's a cool thermal bottle he has. Oops, sorry. No hard feelings, right? Nope. And his keyboard is clipping through the desk. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Get a booster. I don't know. There's a lot of maintenance going on in this facility, I gotta tell you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Uh, I might have an idea or two. Yeah, Windows never changes. It's a cool little cafeteria over here. That guy seems depressed, I'm not gonna lie. This guy literally gave up on everything right now. He's like, how am I going to do this? Everything's just falling apart. Just put it in terms of K and move along. You talk too much. Well, that's our uh, presentation room, so I guess we better get going. Hello, doctor. Whenever you're ready, doctor. Ah, uh, yeah, usually I have somebody turn off the lights for me, but uh, I guess I'll do it myself. Oh, no. Uh, give me a second. Let me figure this out. So we can see on the board what we talked about during our presentation, which is this crystal. There's no name written down, but it's the red crystal, which is the focus of our research. And even though we arrived on a tram over here, we're going to go back to our dormitories now, I guess. Which is just down the hall. Another maintenance guy here knocking down the door. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> One of my favorite areas of this map over here. Reminds me of those airport lounges where you're just at the gate waiting. Did you submit your status report to the administrator today? I'm not at all sure. And we can see outside that weather is not so great right now. wanted me to waste my money sleeping through college courses when now I'm getting paid to sleep out here. <laughs> you know, somehow that just made my day a whole lot better. you've just done you're a cold man
finally see why so many scientists go mad. So we just gotta find our room. Um, should be somewhere out here. I like this neat little picture of the dog over here. So when we get in our room, we turn off the lights to go to bed. Once we're in bed and asleep, we hear something. I don't know if we're supposed to be dreaming right now, but we see a figure in an HEV suit wearing a helmet as well. And as we approach him, we're teleported. Yeah, there's some dead aliens and dead marines. At craft zombies, so we're definitely after the resonance cascade now. And then there's this blue orb. And that seems like we're supposed to follow it. I believe this is a foreshadowing to the resonance cascade. We are seemingly gonna get teleported here again. There's that orb again. Looks like the orb went to us this time, and we can hear uh, some of the voice lines from the resonance cascade itself. Ooh. So we're back in our room now, and then there's that guy with a crowbar crouching. We can grab the crowbar and he disappears. And then we have G Men on a TV. So we have to destroy this TV. <laughs> there we go. At this point, I think we are definitely dreaming.
And I gotta say, this level looks amazing. So far, the mapping does not disappoint. This is the presentation room. It's a little beat down now, and Gmin again. It's almost as if Gmin is trying to tell us something. crystal it's pretty big it's uh, supposed to be the pure sample Okay, so G-Man is definitely involved in this. And to summarize what just happened, we basically got the handle and blew up the red crystal. And now, we just saw a little glimpse of him with what appears to be the Nihalian talking about him. Ooh. Chili. So we are definitely in Zen right now. I don't know if we're still in a dream or not. But this is kind of cool. TV suit. We don't seem to need it though. That doesn't sound good either.
hopefully I don't die. This is just the beginning. <laughs> 